There is nothing better in this world than a pair of well-oiled, highly functional and well-dressed robots. In Overwatch we have many characters like an annoying woman or a slightly more annoying woman, but on the other side we also have some grandpas, we have some robots and we have some more robots, which is very nice. And in today's video I would like to talk just about that, the characters of Overwatch and are they going in a good direction or are they slowly degrading? and getting worse with time. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Disgusting Discussions, where I will be talking about a certain topic and you will comment down below what do you think about the topic, engaging in a very healthy and civil discussion. The topic of today is character design throughout time. So in Overwatch's case we are going to take a look at the oldest characters like Soldier, like Reaper, Farah and even Mercy and compare them to the newest designs that are Ilari, Ramatra, Life Weaver, etc. We will also try to take a look at other games to see how they are doing with their characters. And at the end, I think we could try to conclude this episode with a nice verdict if Overwatch is doing good, if Overwatch is doing bad, or if Overwatch is doing so so in the character design department. So, firstly, let's establish what makes a good character so we are not getting lost in some kind of argument that makes no sense. A good game has a wide roster of players characters, especially in a game where something like looks and the overall design matters a lot when we consider that these characters must be readable, these characters must be advertisable, and these characters must be likable and actually make sense in the universe itself. So a talking animal is not something that we will see regularly, but it's something that we have to get used to. And in the Overwatch universe, we have many wonderful examples like that. For example, many machines that are very advanced, many characters that have armor that is just godly or heavenly, many characters that just have a body type of an actual Greek god, like Reinhardt, for example. And this opens up many original possibilities for creating an outstanding character, or just a character that has so many unique and special attributes that it's just impossible not to love them. In the beginning I said I will compare Overwatch to another game and that game is unfortunately League of Legends so don't get mad at me but I really can't hold myself from checking out what's going on with the game from time to time. I don't play it anymore, but I can see some new cinematics, I can see some new animations, and I enjoy watching them because Riot is just good at that, unfortunately. So, the newest character added to League of Legends is a very, <laughs> is a very nice way to satisfy all the players that have a feed fetish. So, naturally, Riot killed it on the spot and made it a little bit better. But overall, the character is still the same. It's a very brutal, it's a very active character, but it's shown in a form of a young-looking girl, I think? That's what wait, that's what they were going for, yeah, I suppose. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting from this character. And I think that's a big shame, because the overall theme and overall like design that was supposed to be implemented in this character is all gory. It's all supposed to be brutal, it's all supposed to be very aggressive, and I think the execution is just foul. Like, the teeth are bad, like the animation was good, but overall the character doesn't fit the theme that was supposed to be laid. And now, going back to Overwatch, are we struggling with lack of creative character design. And here I will say that Overwatch is doing a very good job. If someone wants to counter-argue with this, then go ahead, but I think Overwatch is one of, if not the best game that has been creating original and outstanding characters for its IP. The newest addition, Ilari, is very obviously attached to this sun theme, so everything that is bright, of course she has a tan, she has a very characteristic face and a weapon that also looks very unique and plays differently. But we're not talking about gameplay, we're, all, we're purely talking about visuals in today's video. I really love the fact that Overwatch and maybe Blizzard as well is not falling into this trap that you need to make everything appealing to the sweaty, heavy, fat gamer boys. Because 
when you fall into the trap, everything becomes stale. Every single character becomes boring. You want to try something original, but it has to have tits somewhere. But, and it just doesn't work. When you force tits and ass everywhere, it's just bad. And most like sane people that are actually enjoying the product you make will catch on to this. And will point their fingers at it and be like, Hey, those tits were not necessary over there. You ruined the character. And they are 100% right. That's why I love the fact that Overwatch is not forgetting about its lore implication, about its universe, and it's using it to its fullest potential. Making one of the newest villains a full-on Omnic, which is very nice. I think there are, I think there is enough room for more Omnic characters in this game, especially knowing that the entire Overwatch lore side of things is spinning around this humans versus Omnics conflict. Which is very interesting and it's very original, because it's no longer trying to show this racial difference uh, on on the skin color, like you see in a normal media and you see in real life. You show you're showing this with a very unique approach, where what happens when human life is approached by a computer life, for example, right? But Okay, I'm sidetracking very heavily over here. Going back to the character's design, we have Lifeweaver and we also have Kiriko. These are just normal humans and I think they are really boring. To make Kiriko unique, they had to put this stupid hat on her head and I really don't like it, especially when she takes it off in the cinematic. She just looks so cursed. And Lifeweaver is a very... is a very checkboxy character. Let me explain. Like, they had a list of what did they not do yet. <laughs> so, Lifeweaver was a male that is very naked. Maybe not very naked, but, you know, just uncovering most of his body. So, for a female version, we have Widowmaker, and for a male version, we have Wifewiener. For feet, we have Diva and uh, Sigma, but now we have something in between. We have a male that is not in his 60s having his feet shown. As well, utilizing the pink color that has not been used. Overwatch really likes to do that color theme, right? I think everyone noticed that. So, whenever you want to see something new, it has to have a new color, it has to have a new design, it has to have a new leading theme and this is what I love about Overwatch because they till this day not disappointed me once with the newer characters. Like I think Life Weaver is is like okay you tried but I guess I'll let that slip past so other people can enjoy themselves too. But what I want to really emphasize in today's discussion is that I like the originality of Overwatch characters and I think that Blizzard is doing a fantastic, a phenomenal job when we're talking about character design and making the characters actually outstanding with some features and some perks, like maybe even their personality, maybe their voice actors. Oh, the voice actors are just so good. And yeah, so the conclusion of today's discussion from my end is that Overwatch is making very good characters when we're talking about differentiating between a character and another character. Like, Ilari doesn't look similar to Lucio, enough similar to mistake them between the two. Or, for example, Ramatra doesn't look similar to other robots like Bastion or Zenyatta. So there's another good point. And one last thing that I wanted to add, like from myself purely, is that robots, especially in a universe like Overwatch, robots have unlimited possibilities, man. And I just love creative designs. I just love creating... I just love creative solutions to just replace a man with a gun with a robot that has, you know, some kind of quirks that can transform his entire body, that can transform into a complete other form, or that can literally float. Okay, floating might be a little bit... You get the point. I love Overwatch character designs, they even made a hamster a playable hero, so I trust them in the future with providing us with more awesome creations, and I just cannot wait on them. But League on the other hand is still behind, and League of Legends just sucks. Thank you so much for listening, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a lovely day, bye bye. <laughs>